Okay, I want to talk to you today about a quick study uh, about calorie uh, burning and sit-ups and how that applies. And I'll just give you a little bit of insight of if you're actually thinking that you can use sit-ups in order to get in shape without doing other things and changing your diet, why that is not going to work. In this particular study, it talks about if a 150 pound person was examined doing sit-ups for 10 minutes. Doing a 110 minute span, this is probably someone who is already in shape or uh, at least took many breaks. It didn't go into uh, the actual workout. It was just 100 sit-ups in 10 minutes and they measured the uh, caloric needs and the expenditure and it ended up being 57 calories for a 150 pound person. So I just took that and said it was proportional and linear and I just took a 200 pound person and a 300 pound person and went ahead and done the calorie equations for those so I could share them with you. And for a 200 pound person it would be 76 calories and for a 300 pound person it would be 115 calories if everything was linear. And uh, there's lots of different factors that would go in so it probably would be uh, less, could be more, but I would, I would say that on average we should be fine going with these numbers. So what we're going to look at is 57 calories for 10 minutes. So if you do a 37, uh, a 30 minute workout, you're only going to burn 150, we'll say 200 calories. Um, that's at 150 pounds. If you're a 300 pound person, you'd be over 300 calories, probably around 350, maybe 400 calories in 30 minutes. So if we're just looking at that, and this is, if you look at a lot of the uh, exercise um, expenditure numbers, you'll see that most workouts uh, for 30 minutes to an hour, you're probably going to burn around 400 calories. Uh, you might get up to the most would probably be a thousand. It would have to be something very intensive and uh, you would have to have full effort for the whole 60 minutes. But on average, four, 500 calories at most is what you're going to get from a 30 to 60 minute workout. So. I just want to show if you are only burning 300 calories doing sit-ups, 100 sit-ups, and it, no matter how long it takes you to do those 100 sit-ups, that's only 300 calories. So just doing sit-ups alone and not changing your diet is going to be very hard for you to have the impact you need in order to see the results you have. 300 calories is minimal. Um, in diet alone, just oats without anything uh, except water added to it is 150 calories for a half a cup, which isn't a lot, and it's not a very big meal. So if that is 150 calories, think about the calories you actually consume through the day. 150 calories is about three Oreos, um, it's uh, uh, one candy bar, or half a serving of, of soda or pop. So when you start taking that into consideration, you can see how changing your diet and altering it would be a lot easier to cut out the calories than doing a thousand sit-ups in order to cut out the calories you need for the day. So that's why changing your diet is so important. I wanted to try to show you a little bit about this belief people have that the training is the most important thing. And I know that's something that's really hard for people to get is your training isn't where you're failing if you're gaining weight. You're gaining weight because of your diet. You need to change your diet in order to lose weight and training should be an addition. Um, and if you can understand that and start making the dietary changes you need, it's really going to make a bigger impact. And even though the, the belief is constantly that if we can get the training will be, the perfect training plan will get me where I need to go, that's not true. The perfect diet plan will get you a lot closer than the perfect training plan.